Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I just wanted to say that I decided to go ahead and open up that uh, email account for prayer requests and I wanted to add testimonies to it and I'll explain what kind of testimonies I'm mainly aiming for. Not necessarily how you got saved testimonies which are great but um, let's start with some verses real quick. Philippians 4 6 be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. One of the biggest things I've always said is when you need prayer for something, you take it to the Lord yourself first. You don't just email me in a heartbeat. You don't just run to the nearest brother or sister in Christ and say, pray for me for this. Make sure you've taken it to the Lord yourself first. Um, James 5.16, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. We are to pray to the Lord. We are also pray for one for another. Uh, 1 Timothy 2.1, I exhort therefore that first of all supplication, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Colossians 1.9, For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, and desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of His will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. We're to pray for understanding when it comes to the Word of God. Uh, and we can pray for other people's understandings. Uh, Colossians 4.2, Continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. Uh, I always have this saying that confuses at first until I explain it. I always say, I can pray for you, but I can't pray for you. Okay? When you've taken it to God yourself, I can pray for you. But you have to pray to the Lord yourself first. Okay? I am not the me There's only one mediator between man and God, the man Christ Jesus. I'm not your mediator. Okay, I go through Jesus Christ just like you do. So when I'm praying for you, I'm going through Jesus Christ. You need to take it through Jesus Christ first before you ask someone else for prayer. So the emails for those who want prayer, um, have prayer requests. Like I said before, um, if you don't want your names mentioned, um, then just say, I want to be anonymous. Uh, even if you don't mind your names, I'm only going to use first names. And then there's times where we might, um, I might get a lot of, that always bothers me, I might get a lot of the same requests, so I might put them together in one request, prayer request. Please knock it off. Please stop it. Right now. She'll make noise if I leave her inside. Um, so the second part, testimonies. I came across an amazing testimony by, from a sister in Christ. And uh, 1, Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 5.11 Wherefore comfort yourselves together and edify one another even as ye also do. All right. Sometimes testimonies of things that are going on in our life as a Christian, our walk with the Lord, can encourage one another. Hebrews 10.24 And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and good works. I've given testimonies on a lot of my videos about things that God has had me do in my life to clean up my life, uh, things that God has done for me that are blessings. John 15, 7, If ye abide in me, and my word abides in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Okay. Ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Uh, it goes back into prayer. I, got, I guess it got bumped down. Um, we're to ask God for things, but like I said, when God gives us things or He blesses us, we can give testimonies to encourage the brother and sisters in Christ out there. Now, I forgot to write her name down, but she's a sister in Christ, and this is what she wrote me under the video for, gosh, sometimes I have, Graven Images, Graven Images video that I did. And I talked about how I gave up things, I came across things that were pagan and pagan idols and stuff on plates that I'd gotten from other countries when I traveled around the world. And this is what she wrote to me. I had held on to my dad's crucifix, blessed by the priest, 
which was given to me at his funeral 25 years ago. Unfortunately, I was born and raised a Catholic. I never wanted to part from it because it was given to me as a reminder of my dad and out of respect and reverence I had for it because it was Jesus. I had reverence, I'm sorry, respect and reverence I had for it because of Jesus. Even when I was so-called professing Christian, it did not bother me nor convict me for having it. Okay. I remember mentioning that I had a beer stein from my grandfather that it's about going to the pubs and you have the beer steins, the pubs drinking, it's from Germany and everything. And it convicted me. It, it, it had trains on it. My grandfather loved trains. And it was hard for me to give that up. And that's what the Sister in Christ is talking about here. This crucifix had a lot of sentimental value. Yeah. Next part. When my husband and I watched one of Brother Brian's videos, do not remember which one, but the scripture he used were 2 Corinthians 10, uh, 19 through 21. It really convicted me, but I still held on to it. In one of your videos, Brother, Brother Philip, you mentioned the bowl you had forgotten you had and the conviction you felt for having it that you got rid of it. Well, the crucifix came, crucifix came to mind and I went to my drawer and got it out. I showed it to my husband because he didn't even know I still had it. We were shocked to see that the Jesus fingers were set in a satanic hand gesture. If you watch, uh, I think I did the image a couple in a couple of my videos of the pagan trinity where Jesus is making a hand signal. Mother Brian has done it too. So she's saying, I think she's saying that the satanic hand gesture, the crucifix, that Jesus was doing that. We got rid of it right then and there and have since cleaned house and gotten rid of any idols, including our kids' Disney character toys. We still have more work to do. Thank you for this video. It... My printer's not working that well. It confirmed what we have been feeling about many things that we just couldn't part with before. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, Brother Philip. Okay. These are kind of testimonies that I want to be able to read. To encourage the brethren, if you got good testimonies, this sister in Christ had a great, great testimony, and I praise the Lord and give all God all the glory that through me, when God was showing me a lot in that study about graven images, that she was able to get rid of a lot of satanic things in her house. Okay, uh, one of the biggest things I had to get rid of uh, some toys of my daughter's too. Uh, it's not always easy doing what's right with the Lord. Or trying to please people, especially your kids. So it took a lot of courage to do what she did. And I hope this encourages the brothers and sisters in Christ out there that, as they like to say, you need a clean house. <laughs> she said it in here, clean house. Um, remember, when you're looking up for Jesus to come any day, remember to ask yourself, am I ready for Jesus to come back today? Make sure your home's a godly home. But the second part of the emails that I'd like to get some emails is amazing testimonies like the Sister in Christ gave me right here. So the emails are for prayer and to give testimonies. If you give testimonies on great things God has done in your life, great things God's helped you overcome, that would be great encouragements to the brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, God helped me overcome porn, video games, movies, TV shows. I've given my testimony. I talk about these every once in a while, and it encourages the brothers and sisters in Christ to see, hey, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Um, if God, through the Holy Spirit and His perfect written word, can help that brother or that sister overcome this situation or this pro like, um, problem they have with the flesh in their life, then God can do it for me. Okay, God's not a respecter of persons. If He can do it for this sister or that brother, His child, um, then he can do it for you. So that's it for this video. Uh, prayer requests and testimonies. I'll see you in the next video.